Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to make something very simple and easy, okay? We're going to make a switch, something like that. I mean, it depends on what switch you want, okay? Let's use the default cube, scale that to the Z, something like that, press tab, go to edit mode and go to face mode, okay? Select the upper, select the upper face, insert, grab that to the Z, insert again, and this time let's duplicate it. Shift D to duplicate the face. Grab that to the Z. And let's delete the face below there. Grab this face again by selecting it. Grab that. Maybe grab something over there. Uh you know what? Let's extrude it, okay? Let's extrude it. The Z exists. And add another loop cut over there. And select this uh this mesh only, press L to select this one only, not this one. Grab that to the Z. Something like that. Let's make it smaller. This one and select the edge of here. GG. Let's go to uh, what is called the X ray mode. Press 1 to see. Something over there. And let's go to face mode. Select this, select the one here, the button. Press, uh, what do you call? Oh, right click, extrude face along normal, okay? Just make it a little bit big to cover the whole area. Yep, something like that. Let's disable the x ray. And there you have it, very simple. Now let's add the bevel, okay? Go to edit mode, I mean object mode. Select the, uh, make sure what switch. Selected, go to uh, modifier, use a bevel, okay? You can use subdivision surface, but that depends on you. Use bevel, okay? And you can, and you got something like that. If you want just the vertices, you can just the vertices, the vertices, okay? Which mean the edges only. The, what do you call it? The sharp one only, okay? From now, let's go to edge. We're going to use the edge, okay? Let's increase the segment to three maybe four then three looks good after we shade smooth if it looks fine yep it looks fine on three okay there you go very simple maybe you can make make it a little bit smaller again press l select this one the button scale it down something over there let's, let's see I mean, let's press L. Grab that to do that just a little bit. Yep, something like that. And let's apply the bevel. But let's not apply it first, okay? Let's go to a shading editor. Go to. Uh, now go select here. The body first. For me, I'm going to go something like silverish. Thing like that. For the specular, we're going to. Well, let's increase the speck a little bit, not the roughness. I don't want it like that, but that depends on you if you want, okay? Let's just increase it to something over there, or maybe a little bit shine, okay? Would okay? Yeah. Now let's go to edit mode, select the button, press L, and let's, let's assign the color over there, okay? Add another one, material, new, or you can just Add this and assign a new add new, okay? And assign. Something like that. Okay. And now let's add a let's use a red for the button. Something like that. And use specular roughness. Now nah, I don't want it to be shiny. The body shiny. Well the body looks good. Hmm. 0.800 Doesn't look so bad. Still looks good, okay? So there you have it guys. A simple, uh, simple switch. Simple switch. I uh, just press the button. Okay. Let's see in in cycle mode. Doesn't see much at all. Doesn't do the change at all. It does look quite the same. Okay. So that's how you make a switch button. Okay. S that's all for today. Very short. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Bye.